before coming to the Ed School, I didn't realize the variety of classes that you can learn in. So I have my lecture-based classes, my seminars, my case-based classes, and classes beyond the Ed School. With those, the combination of all of them brings a really holistic form of learning and really has made me appreciate all the different ways that I have come to understand that I learned. And my question to you is, what do you take away from just these data? So in the case study method, the professor has to be almost like Obi-Wan Kenobi. They have to know everything. They know every student. So you feel like you're always on your toes in the case study method. I love that course with Monica Higgins. It allowed me a chance to study the material, but then the fear of being cold called was incredible. So the first day of class, I made sure I raised my hand no matter what, just to get over the fear of being called. But then the learning environment was so dynamic, I couldn't believe it. I mean, the different opinions and building up other people's learning was incredible. I mean, I think that's a method that should be even used in K through 12. It's so dynamic. One of my favorite modes of learning here while at the Ed School is learning these seminar-based classes. So I had the opportunity to take a class with Steve Seidel, who's actually the director of the AIE program, which is the program that I'm a, uh, a member of. So in that class, we have the opportunity to one, get, really get to know our classmates and our cohort members. Because we meet twice a week with just people in the arts and education program, we really get to know where they're coming from and where they want to go and exchange resources on that basis. Furthermore, Steve is very, very hands-on in his learning. He's all about really extracting what's inside of us and our passions and, and relating it back to the reading. An individual rubric, but it's the same really for everybody intimate, in the group. Uh, really engaging, and you feel like you can really express your voice. So I think that's important for me. Sometimes in lecture, you're like, oh my God, I want to ask a question. But there's 120 people in there, so you really can't get to it. But in section, with 10 or 15 people, you know you can express that opinion that you didn't get to express in lecture and really get uh, feedback from the, from the TFs or the professors or from your classmates, which is a really enriching experience. I also had the opportunity to take a class over at the college with Professor Kanna, who is the director of the South Asia Initiative. It was during this class that I really got to mingle with other students from across the school. So I had classmates from the Kennedy School, I had classmates from the Business School and from the Law School. The wonderful thing about the Ed School is that you can take classes in other disciplines and in other schools. Like, I'm here at the Ed School, but I can also take a class at the Business School or at the Law School or at the Kennedy School. So I can tell people, yeah, I've went to Harvard Business School or yeah, I've, I've taken some law classes at Harvard. So you feel like you get a more in-depth, a, a bigger breadth of experiences at the school. Go to scale. So those are the four criteria that they try to use. So in a lecture-based class, for example, with Fernando Reimers, uh, you find that professors really want to pull on their past experiences and bring those into the classroom, which is great because it contextualizes your learning. Um, Fernando was at the World Bank before he came to the Ed School, so he talks a lot about the the broad scheme of education in the international space and it's really awesome to see what we're learning in the class and in our readings and how we can actually use that outside of the walls of a classroom. You know, like, basically about the learning environment here is that I've been pushed in so many different ways. So I've been pushed through the, through the case method of looking at things through someone else's lenses. I've been pushed through my cohort in terms of getting in touch with my feelings, the inner person of who I am. And then in other classes, we ask big questions like, what is the purpose of schooling? So it makes me really wonder, wow, what is the purpose of schooling? Like, you, you think you know these things, but you really don't. So each class has a way of stretching you uh, and asking you questions that, that lead to more questions. And that's the craziest thing about Hugsy for me, is I came here to get answers, and I'm leaving with more questions. But they're great questions, so I appreciate it.